Hi everyone, welcome to Layers Dancer Tips. I'm Alessia. Today I've got for you knee strengthening exercises. Now, first things first. One, you've got to be warm to do this. Two, if you had an injury, be really careful or check with your physiotherapist if these exercises are good for you as you are now. Three, be really careful about the alignment and how you do it. It can be, knees are very tricky. They can be very tricky, especially when they're worked. If you're a dancer, it's very good to stabilize it. So these exercises are really good for you, especially if you're going on point. But again, knees are very tricky and very important. So make sure that you either check with your physiotherapist or your doctor or anyone that is following you if you had an injury. I'm never gonna stop saying this, okay? So if you're ready for this, let's do it. Grab a chair and let's follow carefully your alignment of the knees. Let's do it. Let's do this. You've got your chair ready to go. Now step away from the chair. You've got to kind of measure before you start, just moving around, that your foot is right on the edge of the chair and you can kneel all the way down. It's just to be there and to give you a bit of stability if you need to. So we we'll start, because we are working on our knees and our stability, first thing is check the alignment. Make sure that it's nice and stable. Not like me. <laughs> Hold on to your core. You can have your hands on your hips or on the side to counterbalance. So let's work on the strength. So we're gonna start easy peasy. We go all the way down. Keep, keep checking what your knee does. And you come up. You rise up and down again. Check where, where your toes are going and where your weight is going. Do not go to your big toe, do not go onto your pinky. Make sure that your weight is right in between on the second toe. Again, go. One. And up, hold on to your core. Two, keep checking. And up. Three, all the way down and up four keep your bum engaged five and up six and up seven keep it there keep a straight line and eight and up down you change around either foot at the back keep your hips squared as well don't get into funky positions that is just for the dancing later <laughs> go 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 down go one and up two and up three keep checking and up feel the back of your leg in your bum four and up five and up six and up Seven, ooh, and up, eight, and up, down, shake your legs, change again, from here, go on to plie, the only thing you want to do is lift, and two, and three, Keep straight, four, five. It's good for your ankles. It's good for your knees. Eight, 
Eight more. Go one. Squeeze down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Woo! Eight. Starting to shake. I can feel that too. And again, find a plie. Hold on to your core. Hips square. Plie all the way. Almost 90 degrees. Go one. Two. Three. Four. Hold your core. Five. Six. Feel the quads working. Eight, eight more, go one, keep going. Two, hold your core, hold your bum. And four, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Down, shake your legs, stretch your quads. Can you feel them? Can you feel stabilizing? And one more shake. Whew. Now, we're gonna sit on our legs. <laughs> Better say, we're gonna find, <laughs> we're gonna judge how much space we need. So here we go, you gotta sit on the edge. Now, stand back up, okay? From here, let's start with sitting, yeah? We're gonna sit and stand up. Again, careful where your knees are going, they've got to be parallel. One thing that you can do is wrap around a TheraBand if you've got it, so you can feel the pressure. For the hardcore peeps even more, you can do it without and concentrate on what the alignment does. And again, so from here, sit down, one, stand up, two, stand up, three, Four and five and six and seven and eight. One more. Go one. Keep alignment. Two, three, and four. Feel your abs, feel your bum. Six and seven and eight stand back up stretch your quads can you feel that working very good that's what we want Whew, shake from here same thing judge how much you need now, important thing is to keep your, your hips squared. So leg up, flex your foot, point it, don't worry about it too much. One leg, one, sit down. Now, you've got two options. You can either from here, stand up without the leg, or put it down, stand back up. So option one, one, put it down, check the alignment, stand up. Or, who's with me? From here, you lower, use your abs, use your bum, check the alignment, come back in. Well, we don't come back in, we're probably gonna keep it there. So let's do it. I'm gonna do the hard version for Anyone else that wants to do it, remember, pull your foot down, make sure that you check the alignment of the two knees, not wobbling in and out. Get yeah, ready. And one, two, keep your core. Three, four, five, whoa, ha ha, six, Seven, eight, up, down, change around. You still with me? Come on. There is always one side that is harder than the other. 
If you find, if you find that, make sure that you do one extra or two extra on the harder side. So you even out your body. Ready, go. One, hold your core. Ooh. Two, three, keep looking forward. Four, five, six, whew, seven, plant your foot on the floor. Eight, up and down. Shake your legs, shake your quads. Stretch them out. That was a toughy one, wasn't it? Yeah. So now, get rid of your chair for a moment. Get back here. Step away a little bit. What you wanted to do is you step forward. Here, you step to the side. Again, it's a very simple exercise, but it's very easy to not know where our knees are going. So, we do on one side and then we change around on the other. So let's start, get right on the edge. Or oh, step away from the, from the screen just in case you're gonna hit the face. Excuse me. Yes. And go. One, alignment. Two, alignment, put your foot on the floor. Two, alignment. Three, and down. Four, woo. And five, keep your hips squared. Six. Seven. And eight. Hold your core. And back in. Now. Move away your chair. <laughs> we go in the other side. We go. Ready. And. One. And two. Woo. Three, as you can see, this is my hard one. Four. Alignment. Five. Six. Seven. Yes. And eight. And down. Shake. Shakey shake. Now, we're going to go down on the floor. I'm going to teach you something. It's you gotta be really careful about doing this, but it's really good to open up the mobility of the knees if you need it. We are, so this is the position. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a stretch, but in a very awkward position. From here, you sit and you roll around if you had an injury, be really careful. And be really careful if you haven't done this before. If it feels too funky, don't do it. Sit down, have a good stretch of your quads. If you're here with me, this is good to open up the front and the back of the knee. So if your quads are too tight, if the back of your leg is too tight, it's good to give room to the knee and you just wobble around. You push down. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
and you stay there. You keep breathing, gentle movement. And then from there you swap around again. From here, your tail is always in the way. From here, weird, weird position. And you sit down. Again, there's always gonna be one side that is tighter than the other. And you can stay there longer. And again, wobble around right under there right on top of your calf muscle and you stay there feel the quad relaxing feel the back of the knee relaxing keep breathing I know it's a bit weird but it's very good you'll feel nice and elongated And you relax down. You can do this whenever you're watching TV. Oh, I'll feel that. Can you feel the difference now of how much or oh, the back of the knee and the front of the knee is open, ready to work it even more? I hope you enjoy that. Mwah. Thank you very much guys watching. I hope you enjoyed that and you found the exercises useful and interesting for your knees. If this is your first time watching, don't forget to subscribe and to check out our website laysdancetips.com for free workout plans and lots more news coming up. Ciao! Join them, join